from my perspective as a penetration tester, the scanning tools that you know may come to mind, you could perform code analysis to find things. You could perform OSINT to find uh, exposed credentials, anything, you know, exposed API keys on GitHub, that sort of, that sort of thing. Um, but once it gets into scanning the actual APIs, uh, you're going to get a lot of false negatives and you're going to mainly only um, get API 7, the security misconfiguration vulnerability. Uh, those scanners are decent at picking up those vulnerabilities, uh, but they have an issue with the rest. And the, the problem is because with web APIs, uh, you're authenticating to it and then you're getting a token and then all of the other API requests that are protected require that authorization token. So if you're using a generic tool without additional configuration, then it's going to scan those as an unauthorized, unauthenticated user. And you're going to get the results back based on that information. And so if you are thinking of uh, Zap or Burp Suite or something like that, then making sure to use the manual process with Zap where you're um, crawling through the web application as an authenticated user with an authorization token, those can help improve the results of those scans. Same with Burp Suite.